we're into the pre-season now. How's it been having the group back together? Yeah, great. Yeah, it, we've, uh, we've still got Lauren McGee and Sinead Goldrick who leave Dublin tomorrow. So they'll arrive in Melbourne tomorrow afternoon and do their quarantine. But um, yeah, no, we've had, had the full team for a couple of weeks now. But uh, yeah, look, it was pretty exciting times over the last couple of weeks. We've got the boys we're able to achieve and then yeah, the girls feel like you know, they're, they're ready and they've learnt a lot and the boys have shown the way. So hopefully we can, can have a successful season. And is there a focus heading into this pre-season? Yeah, I think for a lot of us, it's, it's the consistency of our behaviours and consistency of executing our role for the team. Last year, we, we got a good taste of what that looks like when everyone's doing their bit. Um, the girls won five games in a row and um, oh, we're, just, we're just loving their footy. And then unfortunately, in a prelim, you know, Adelaide played well, but we, we weren't able to perform. And you know, that's still hurting a little bit for a lot of us. Uh, and I think a really valuable lesson was to, you know, we need to be better for longer. So yeah, pre-season's a perfect time to ingrain those habits and behaviours and train the group on how we want to play. So yeah, we feel like we've, we've got the right plan, we just need to go and execute now. Um, and obviously there's been a few changes in the list over the pre-season, off-season, sorry. Um, are you happy with how the list's shaping up? Yeah, we're, we're wrapped. We feel like it's the strongest list we've, we've put together since the start of the competition. Obviously Taylor Harris um, up forward, her athleticism and mobility and competitiveness uh, will be really exciting for our group. Uh, Olivia Purcell, like her ability to, to add to our midfield when she's completed her rehab and when she's ready, she's certainly a long-term prospect for us here and um, again her competitiveness is something that we really value. Um, Eliza West as a rookie has joined our team, uh, yeah like she had an outstanding VFLW season. At Casey, she's such a good competitor and a hard worker. And then the three draftees with Georgia Campbell, our first father-daughter selection, um, Talia Gillard, from Calder Cannons and then Alison Brown who'd been playing at Casey informally with uh, St Kilda and Carlton. So yeah, it's, there's been some turnover. It tends to happen a lot in women's footy, but we're really excited with, with the group we've put together now and, and feel like there's a real sense of shared purpose about what we want to achieve and what needs to be done. So obviously a few new faces, some more experienced, some young draftees. How have they been going settling into the AFLW program? Yeah, I think having an exemption to train um, during lockdown has been, obviously it's been a bonus to be able to train you know, the professional athletes. Uh, so for them to have access to the gym and still be able to get out onto goshes and train, like that, that's obviously been important for us to keep improving. But to your point, it's been really helpful for that connection. There hasn't been the pressure of week to week games. Um, you know, that camaraderie can just build through you know, a bit of hard work and some shared time together on the track and in the gym. So yeah, we feel like while we've only been back two weeks, Officially, there's, there's been a lot of time behind the scenes where the girls have been able to build those relationships. And for the six new players coming in, uh, yeah, they're not coming in raw and starting fresh. They actually feel quite comfortable and understand what they need to do and where they fit in.